Hi, did you ever get stuck while learning a rhythm or fill? In this class, I'll tell you some tips to avoid that. I'm Willy Sagone, welcome back. This is the rhythm we're going to learn today, and I hope you find it easy and entertaining. My first advice is to separate reading from playing. Some people have a problem reading and some people have a problem playing and they attempt to do both things at a time. That's not a good idea for me. I used to concentrate first on reading and understanding the rhythm I'm, I'm about to play and then try to play it. You can see that this rhythm is written in eight notes. So we read it one and two and three and four and and we will have to play kick and snare where they belong. You can, for example, sing bass drums, boom, hi-hats, tss, and snare drums, you can sing them, pa, or something like that. So you get an idea of what the rhythm will sound like when you play it. Obviously, you can't sing the bass drum and hi-hat at the same time, or snare drum and hi-hat. So what I, what I do is I sing the hi-hats when they're alone, and that's it. So this one would be boom, tss, ba, tss, boom, boom, ba, tss. It is obviously very important to keep a steady rhythm while we're singing it as we were doing when we were singing one and two and three and four and. If you can't do this, do it very slowly so you get used to where bass drum, snare drum and hi-hat are written. It is also very useful to get used to the numbers in which the notes are written so you could also read only bass drum and snare drum and do it like this. One, two, three and four. Now that we know how the rhythm is going to sound like, we can try to play it. Do it slowly first and then try to follow a click. What you really want is to coordinate your body. If necessary, play only the notes that would fit inside a quarter note. If you find the passage especially difficult, you can practice those three or four notes alone. Now free your mind and make it a dance. When you dance, you can also speak with your dancing partner. That's what I want you to do. I want you to think of something else while you're playing in time. Now you only need to play this with a click. Play it slowly at first and then at all possible speeds. And when you get it done, remember to free your mind again, because you're going to need it. You need to add little details to what you're playing, to remember the song, to listen to the other musicians who are playing with you, and to be aware of the lots of things that may happen to you during the gig or recording session. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for following us, and see you very soon. Ciao.